The pain reminds you that you have done something wrong. You may have made the wrong move and you need to undergo a process to let the pain ride itself out until the fever breaks. The longer you try to ignore the pain or bandage it in different ways through substance use, sexual relations, and related emotional base crutches, the longer you will set back yourself from reaching your intended goal. So as soon as you shoot that needle in your arm, you just created a setback for yourself. You just set yourself back. As soon as you sniff that that line of, cor- uh, of cocaine, as soon as you smoke that um, bud, Um, you have just set yourself back because it is a foreign element and your body now goes through the process of trying to recognize it and fight it, which uh, affects you uh, in in the form of pain. And some people say, well, smoking uh, marijuana shouldn't be a bad thing because, and you can add any kind of reason, right? But if you look at journal articles on the topic of smoking marijuana, Uh, They reveal, uh, conclusions reveal that it affects you cognitively later. The more you smoke it, the more you decline in your cognition. Now, remember, you got to get old. I wouldn't want to be somebody 80 years old with uh, bad cognitive skills and then have to have somebody take care of me. I will be, you know, I want to be someone 80, 90 years old, still lucid still can take care of myself, still can bathe myself, still can do things for myself. But immediately, once you decide to make that decision to to engage in substance abuse, substance use, anything like that, you have immediately created a setback and you will feel the pain of that situation. 